And now, one woman's brave battle against bullying has inspired a new Hollywood movie. Brooke Anderson has that story. When I was in high school, I stumbled upon a video that someone labeled me the world's ugliest woman. Lizzie Velasquez is the opposite of ugly. She's a beautiful soul who has lived a life of hardship. She was born premature and her future looked bleak. The doctors had no clue what was wrong with me. They basically told my parents to expect me to accomplish absolutely nothing in my life. They told them that I would never walk, talk, or crawl. Lizzie is not anorexic or bulimic. She's very tiny, bone thin, and blind in one eye due to an extremely rare disease that doesn't even have a name. What is your condition? I can't gain weight. Um, I'm 23 years old and I've never weighed of probably over 62, 63 pounds. Throughout her childhood, her parents gave her a normal life. She was even a cheerleader. When I was growing up, my parents and everyone around me supported me so much and they raised me so normally to the point where I didn't know I was different. I couldn't see that I didn't look like other kids. But being different led to cruel bullying. Do you remember the first time you were bullied? When I started elementary school, the first day I was really excited and I had my whole outfit picked out and I walked in and other kids just were afraid of me. They were calling me names like Skinny Bones and Grandma and they were scared to stand next to me. Some of them, nobody ever really physically bullied me. It was mostly all name calling. Kids would move out of the way on the playground because they were scared to stand next to me. Lizzie has lived her life by turning negatives into positives, but it was that internet video calling her the world's ugliest woman that nearly caused her to break. There were comments on it ranging from giving me tips on how to kill myself. People were asking why my parents didn't abort me if I was going to be so ugly and really, really hateful things. And of course, I cried my eyes out. She decided to take action and made her own anti-bullying video that has had over 3 million hits on YouTube. Any form of bullying really does hurt. Lizzie is now shooting a documentary for The Friend Movement. The film also features Leanne Rimes, Adam Lambert and Richard Simmons. The edgy anti-bullying campaign includes an infamous hand gesture to signify how crucial this cause is. It's the new F word and instead of it being something negative, it's going to be turned into something positive, which is friend. Another way to get over bullying is by having a good friend. And not only having a good friend, but it's something positive, which is friend. The producer saw Lizzie on the internet and asked her to be a part of their project. We reached out to Lizzie and she reached back and she took a leap of faith and came out to Los Angeles and she's, she's a spitfire. She's been an incredible advocate of our campaign. In enlisting Lizzie for the friend movement, they're hoping her story inspires others to act. I think we underestimate the psychological effects of being bullied because if you're bullied as a kid, you're going to have some post-traumatic stress disorder as an adult. And no matter how hard we try to repress those feelings and those experiences, they ultimately end up bubbling up in very toxic ways. And I think we can heal by being a better friend. I found her to be empowering even after everything she's been through. Whenever someone tells you you can't do something, tell yourself, yes, I can. Fantastic attitude. Thank you, bro. Only two other people in the world are believed to have Lizzie's condition. But as you saw, she is full of optimism and hopes one day to get married and become a mom.